Hi, I'm Malcolm Keefe, professor at Cal Poly State University in the Graphic Communication Department. I served as the, the faculty advisor and really the, the sort of the lead project manager for the Canvas Magazine interactive, electrochromic, printed cover. Uh, we believe it's the first uh, interactive, electronically uh, generated cover uh, that's entirely printed on conventional printing equipment. So here's our electrochromic cover. The instructions tell you to dog ear the corner. You can see that corner has a switch that will complete the circuit, allowing current to flow into the first display. When I dog ear that corner, you'll see that the display now lights up. And you'll notice it says some follow well-traveled paths and make pennies with instructions to place a penny under the next switch. The initial prototyping was done on a one-color Atma screen press, but when we went to production, we knew we had to go to roll-to-roll -roll in order to get the quantities we were looking for. So here's uh, an example of the roll-to-roll -roll printed, final printed piece. You'll notice that it, in fact, is it's on a polyester stable, uh, heat-stable polyester, but it is a, a conventional rewind of a typical press. It's a screen printed project, 10 inks, uh, but this is the way the project came. Of course, it then had to be die cut uh, and actually perforated. Uh, when the material came to us, we had to integrate the battery, and this created a challenge. We knew that we had uh, uh, Blue Spark batteries available to us, and so we were able to get buy these in bulk, 1.5-volt uh, batteries, but we had to actually attach them to the, the traces so that the terminals would actually uh, connect to the silver traces and be conductive. This cover was produced, screen printed, uh, initially prototyped here at Cal Poly, and then uh, final production took place at SciCal in Boston. The technology is a commercially available technology from Intera. It's an electrochromic material, which means that the ink film dried when an electric charge is passed through the film actually changes colors. Hi, my name is Bryce Beatty, and I'm a senior at Cal Poly. Recently, we finished the Canvas magazine, and it was a printed electronic magazine. I was a student project manager, and it was pretty cool. I really enjoyed working on it. I really enjoyed seeing it go together and actually showing people how it worked and, and what I did on it was, was really interesting. I actually got to go to a printed electronic conference because of this magazine and talk to a lot of the companies that were involved and actually sit down and see what was involved in making this magazine and that was just fascinating to see all these different companies come together and put this together and make this happen. I helped a little bit with the design. We had a couple meetings where we brainstormed ideas and what we thought we could do with the technology and then in the end one of the other students designed most of it and then I also helped a lot with the battery placement and shipping and organizing and trying to get people to come in and showing other people and training and doing all that stuff. So at Cal Poly we actually tried to make our own canvas magazines and we got samples of all the ink that we needed and we put it on our screen press machines and although they weren't perfect some of them actually worked and it was very cool. It was very cool that we actually got to make our own and got to see the technology here and got to use it. Hi, I'm Michael Shedd and I go to Cal Poly. I'm a senior and I'm studying graphic communication and I worked on the canvas cover in which we use electrochromic inks and my part in the project was basically overseeing the designing process and then integrating the batteries and overall I think uh, electronic printing is extremely upcoming new development in technology and printing in general and it was a great project that we got to work on because um, us as students we learned a lot and then our department was able to um, get a lot of experience in electronic printing. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I hope it was enjoyable to you to learn a little bit about how this cover was produced. By all means, look around the website, download some of the files, look at some of the resources available, and by all means, be sure and contact the partners involved in producing this cover. Thank you for your time.